Hi. Today I'm going to explain the difference between sprite index and image index. Right now I have two sprites created, a sprite blue and a sprite red. And inside each is just the original color and then a lighter shade of the color. So red and pink and then blue and lighter blue. Now, our sprite index are these, these sprites. So in code, we could have sprite index equals sprite blue. Now when you create an object, you can automatically assign a sprite, or you can do this, which is sprite index equals sprite red. So now it will be sprite red from the start. Our image speed, I'm setting to zero. So this is our sprite, sprite red. These are the images. So sprite red contains two images and our image speed is a value between zero and one and it can be more than one but from zero means that it won't change at all. It'll move zero images Per, th per step. Our step is located in our room and it's our speed. So every second 30 steps are run. So when we set the image speed to zero for every step we're changing zero. Zero images if we set it to 0.5, every two steps we would change one image. So it would take two steps to change from red to pink. And that would... Excuse me, I thought I heard a noise at the door. I was talking about now, about the image speed being zero. Jeez, I, w I, I wish these were noise canceling headphones. It would have been easier on me. Uh, so we have the sprites, our image. Uh, we select our sprite. We're setting the image speed. And I was saying that, okay, so it was at, we were at 0 0.5, 2 0.5s equals, uh, we move one image per step or per two steps if we add it at 0.5. So it will continue repeating those two. It'll move between those two once every two steps. If our room speed is 30, we have 30 steps. It'll change uh, pictures 15 times in one second. Now if we had it at one, uh, if we set it to one, then it would be one to one with the steps. So it would be with it, we're, we'd be checking every, we'd be changing the image once every step. We can also set it to two. So we will change the image twice every step. Three, oops, three, three every step, four, four every step. So it goes to one and then everything over it is increased. So it's a multiplier like, um, you could have like 1.05 as well to just barely increase it over the speed. I'm not sure why you would want to, but you might want to for some reason. Um, so we, by setting it to zero, we're making sure that the image speed doesn't, that the image stays the same. That it only loads the first image of whatever uh, we set it to, which we set it to sprite red. Now we're going to create a step event. In our step event, we're going to just check for the keyboard, check, press, ord, and I'm going to use E. And then we can just we can use a, an if statement. I'm just going to quickly write a switch. I think they look nicer. 
they're easier to understand. But we're going to do a switch on the sprite index because we know that it's either going to be sprite red or sprite blue. So case sprite red because we what we're going to do we're going to swap back and forth between them and through their image indexes so the sprite red <coughs> we're going to want to change our sprite index to equals oops spr blue and we're going to want to break copy this paste oops change this just to blue this to red and now what we've done and that's incorrect it's supposed to be this there we've made it so every time we press E it'll change the uh, the sprite index now every t now what we also want to do is every time we press Q we're gonna wanna swap through the image index so if keyboard check pressed board Q we're going to want to change the image index which is going to which is just changing a little bit and I'm going to want to use a switch do I want to use a switch now I'll use I'll, I'll show it a different way how you do it with an if statement if image index equals zero then image index equals one because if you remember we have the piece um, in here we have two we have the zero which is the first one and one which is the second one but the way we count in programming is zero one so it's zero and one so if it's zero we uh, we swap to this one to image index uh, one and if it's one we swap to image index zero so we swap between the first and second image but it's zero and one it's a little bit confusing but you get used to it but we also want to swap to image index one or, or image index uh, zero if we are currently on the other image index the one image index so now we have our two things that changes the sprite uh, index and it changes one and Q changes the image index and this will allow us to see the difference between the two uh, pretty easily oops you know what I didn't do put the object in the room Alright, so I'm going to press E, and we're on the blue one. I'll press E again, we're on the red. 
So that's a sprite index we're changing right now. The sprite index is changing. Now let's change the image index. Now we're at the lighter blue. I press Q and I press Q again and I'm at the darker blue. Now I'm going to press E again to swap to the red and I'm going to press Q and it'll go to pink, Q to red, Q to pink. Now this is interesting. We started out, if you remember the other one, the last image we had on the other one was blue. But because we're now on image index one for this one when we swap the E and we don't reset it back to we, when we swap the sprite index but we don't reset the image index back to zero we're gonna have this the light blue so what we should do is change it so that when we swap our images we also set the image index equals zero So now we go to the the first slot on the sprite for sprite blue and sprite red, which is the red or the blue, the dark the darker ones. So now I'll do this, and I'll show that now it will swap back to the first one. So I'm gonna go to this, and I'm gonna swap the color. I'm gonna swap my sprite and it went back to the first swap color swap sprite and it went back to the first because we reset it back to the image index back to zero so one more time just to set it in sprite index image index hope that helped have a good one